I still made some money though. That's lit. While you sleep, I love that. I woke up, I looked at the, the blue screens were open. I was like, what? Really wanna kiss you? So won't you say my name? Say my name. If you claim you want me, it ain't no good. Okay, hi guys. I am trash, as you know. Um, I'm actually in Miami right now. I don't know why I decided to cut the camera on. I'm really fucking salty, first of all. I feel like this is terrible quality. But I'm really salty because this is a beautiful ass hotel and I wish I brought my tripod. I always travel with my fucking tripod. I always travel with my tripod. And the one time I was like, you only, because I'm only here for a day. I got in yesterday at 10 o'clock and I leave tomorrow at 8 a.m. And I haven't really been doing a whole lot. I mean, I kind of just been running errands. So I guess I could have vlogged a little bit today, but honestly, I probably should have vlogged, but I was in the dispensary. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, so I was mad because like, I really could have filmed the cutest little like, like pics right here. Or I, what I was thinking is I could have filmed like in the mirror of those little, I was thinking what I could have filmed in that mirror was those little like Vogue get ready in the because like those are nice it's the nicest bathroom out here for a real quick in and out thing but I'm just excited you guys because I bought a new perfume today and if you know me you know that I'm very obsessed and into nice fragrances um I'm a perfume junkie and I'm just getting more into luxurious luxury fragrances because the little Sephora, I don't want to say it's Sephora fragrances, but it's just like, I hate smelling like everybody. Like, I love having a, a signature fragrance. Of course, every, everyone's fragrance is somebody else's fragrance, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't going to be... I didn't even bring my little handheld tripod, too. I'm really slacking. But anyways, the fragrance I bought today, I'm so excited because... I've only heard, like, two people talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it because it's amazing. This is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry perfume, you guys. I just, I don't even know how to explain the perfume. Like, I don't. It's crazy because there's a perfume, a Louis, Vuitton, a Louis Vuitton perfume I was gonna buy. I'm actually going to buy that too. But um, they didn't have the smaller size and I was gonna buy that one, but I went and got a tester of this and I was like, I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I went back to Louis Vuitton and I had smelled that one. That one's fire too. But then I gave her the Tom Ford test and I was like, smell it. And then she was like, oh, and she like asked me to take it. And then she took it from me, had the other coworker smell it and they were like freaking out about it but no nah, this is different like this is some rich bitch shit it's like 350 and it sucks because i really wish i was could have bought a bigger bottle they only had this bottle in size in stock but lord knows i ain't gonna buy the big bottle anyways because that shit's i don't even want to know how much that bitch is it's probably like five six hundred dollars but this is fire y'all like this is fire i don't know how to really explain it but I've never smelled a perfume like this. Like it smells so different. And it was crazy is it actually does smell like cherry. Like it's it's very, it's genu genuinely cherry. But to me, whenever I would think of anything cherry fragrance, I'm thinking of cough syrup. And the fact that this doesn't smell like cough syrup, it smells like cherry, but like, I don't know how to explain it. It's pricey. It's annoying because I really want this to be my everyday. But she sure as hell is not going to be my everyday because I sure as hell am not buying another one of these anytime soon. But cheers to expensive fragrances there's another fragrance i really wanted to buy today which i'm really mad at myself i should have just bought it while i was there this is actually the fragrance that rihanna wears um i'm gonna buy the full size of this one too because honestly this one really grew on me i didn't really like it at first either i mean i don't know almost i didn't like it but it just it's a very different fragrance i have a lot of perfumes this is the one i brought out here with me this one i love too it just doesn't last a whole long time but i'm a fragrance person i love smelling good i love smelling expensive matches the pussy value I'm just so not prepared. I don't have pants on, so I'm trying to not get that on the camera. Hi, y'all. I'm gonna start vlogging more, but like for real, I really just, I mean, I guess y'all probably want to see me just talk. I just, I do not be thinking people want to just hear me talk all damn day. And I guess it probably would have been kind of funny if I was vlogging. I don't think I could have vlogged at the dispensary, but I met some real cool people today. And even like my Uber driver, she was funny as fuck. I just need to start taking my camera with me and just pulling it out more often. I got some pretty decent footage out here. Um, or a little hotel. It's 
messy as fuck. But some hotel vibes. So I'm gonna go through and edit up all my old videos. I'm not sure if y'all like or dislike that, but I just feel bad wasting content. And I also feel bad trying to convince myself to film more content when there's other content I still haven't edited and posted. But I wanna film some more videos, like just talking to y'all because y'all be fucking with me. And I didn't think y'all did. I don't know how to open this. But yo, it was so cute. The girls at Louis Vuitton, she gave me this little sample. Cause I was telling her how I was out here trying to buy a fragrance. And she was like, oh, you can order, you can order. And I was just like, uh, I just want it, I want it now. So that's why I went ahead and got the Tom Ford one. I love that perfume. That perfume is just different. Like, like I don't know how to explain this shit. It just smells so, oh, I can't wait to wear this shit around some niggas. Ah! different like this perfume is dangerous so i'm so excited to this this is like a secret weapon to me now <laughs> this is some good shit dude should we do i'm gonna do my makeup now <laughs> i need to stop doing that shit that's not cute do some vlog style makeup yeah, I know. I don't know if really want to do a whole lot of makeup, honestly. But I definitely need something. I realize whenever I <laughs> go makeup list, I mean, I'm just gonna say that. Stop. Goodbye, my teeth. Alright, so I'm gonna use. Can't control, broke, I'm more rich if you 
sauce, you can't touch no. I love a movie the way they be acting. She said that she's like on my atlas. Life, I gotta appreciate. Remember the time I ain't had this. But when they see me in a mansion, to me that they probably clapping. They are. Straight, honestly, I'm really just rapping. I'm not gonna get my guffins and they love me. I'm not gonna get my guy haters, they hate me. They said that this nigga fucking nerd. Wonder why they see me lately. Wonder why they bitch wanna date me. Wonder why they cannot escape me. Wonder why some goofy nigga on the internet richer than them with Prince T. I'm gonna fuck with you, I'm gonna fuck it up. Get in records, I fuck with my boss. Say you want me, then you out of love, baby girl, you out of love. Hit that social network on the club. Like a whore, invite me to the club. Put your sex, they don't wanna chop me, girl. up you guys go ahead and give this drink a fucking try i actually wasn't sure if i liked it at first but it's, it's cool good morning good morning good morning what are y'all doing i just got back home <laughs> um i was i didn't do no vlogging yesterday because i didn't want to leave my camera in the car but i just was kicking it with a friend and got up a little bit later today it's about 9 30 ish i got three hours left on here Today, I have a video going live. This, this is my vlog that'll go live at the end of this week on Saturday. Today's Wednesday, February 10th. But my video going live today, I actually need to go and check and see how that's doing. Um, let's see. I had to upload it twice yesterday because copyright issues, we love that. That's one of the things I absolutely did not miss about YouTube is those kind of issues, but I'm happy because now that I have a schedule, I'm like more prepared for that kind of stuff. So I was able to fix the video and re-upload it. Yeah, okay, cool. And now it's monetization on. So I'm gonna get that scheduled to go live today. Um, and I'm excited. because This is a really cute video, you guys. It's my um, Pinterest outfit. Um, Pinterest outfits, basically. I walk you guys through on how to create just Pinterest style themed outfits. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I have a lot of back end stuff to do today. I get so excited when I have days, I don't have to, I don't have to leave. But, oh, I do, I really need to go to the gym. But that's been the hardest thing for you guys. Getting consistent has been the gym stuff. Everything is good, yay. I just gonna make the thumbnail and set it. It'll go live at one o'clock. It doesn't really matter what I'm telling y'all. Y'all, it's gonna be live by the time you guys see this video. But yeah, I don't know if I talked to you guys about this already, but if y'all haven't cleaned your space, like your whole house, your apartment, your bedroom, whatever you live in, do that. I've been doing that recently. I broke it up over the past like a few days. I started cleaning. First I cleaned my, just this little area in my room, like nightstand kind of area. And then I cleaned my whole makeup cart. Then I cleaned my whole bathroom. And then I cleaned my underneath my bed because I put some stuff under there. <laughs> Oh, bless me. <laughs> but nothing was that messy, but like you guys, it's changed my whole spirit. It's so freaking crazy. And I've gotten so much trash out of there. Like I had no idea. Like my bathroom alone was like, I don't wanna say three full trash bags. Little nightstand area, that was like two trash bags. I really tried to stop getting rid of my clothes for a minute because I used to sell everything all the time. And it would suck when I would sell something and then forget about it and then later on wanna wear it again and don't have it no more. So I stopped doing that for a minute. But I really should go through and get rid of some stuff and just declutter and de downsize. My room 
has so much empty space in it it feels so nice like, i don't want like anything in my bedroom i want it to have on tv a really cute simple night like uh night stands and like tv's console but other than that i want everything to be very very simple i find myself when i have more space i just feel more inspired but i'm gonna go ahead and get to work you guys and get this video ready to go live i forget what else i need to do i have a lot of stuff to do <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on everything and i will check in with you guys later i don't know if this will be the end of the vlog i'm kind of just gonna keep vlogging this every day whatever i'm doing and just updating you guys and then compiling it into a weekly vlog that's kind of like my schedule for videos every week will be a weekly vlog and one of those videos so any kind of videos you guys want to see let me know i can film whatever and then the vlog obviously is just what i'm doing i don't really plan on traveling again more so until the beginning of next month um I'm really going to be more so in grind mode when it comes to March. Oh, also, I that's one thing. I am going to drop my boob vlog video. So that way it should be up not this Saturday, but next Saturday. So I'm really, really excited because I'm finally going to get that up. It's been forever. So I finally have a plan to get that video. That's what I'm going to do. I want to update the whole page, really. I want to update my music choices. I want to update my intro and outro cards. All that kind of stuff. That means bad. It's just, I feel like I'm a new bitch right now. You know, and I gotta act like it. Yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my day. And I will just talk to you guys. Oh, gosh. Hey, y'all. I wonder if I'll be caring about this. I really set my little tripod thing up here because I don't really put it on that that tripod as much. But how are y'all doing? Y'all wanna hear what I'm about to do? <laughs> I it's nine o'clock. I was supposed to, I wanted to go do this at like six because I wanted to avoid as many people as possible. But I'm gonna go take some photos. I basically have evaluated my life and little things that I do and things that I wanna oh shit. Things that you know just things I wanna change and obviously the big thing was YouTube, but I really don't post on Instagram either. Like I haven't posted on there since November, which is ridiculous. But I'm very picky with my photos. I took some cute photos in Atlanta, but I don't know if they're gonna fit on my page where it looks cute. So I'm gonna play around with those today and see if they actually are decent because that's gonna be annoying if they don't work. But we're gonna see. I'm trying to start somewhere with everything. Even though two pictures a month sounds ridiculous. I'm more focused on YouTube right now than I am with Instagram. But I wanna kinda get basically like get YouTube on a habit, you know, where I'm routinely have my filming days, my edit days, and I'm getting two videos a week consistently, and then kinda add stuff to it. So I'm routine this. I don't where I'm last night, so I'm gonna have a little list for a second. I'm about to go and take these photos. I'm really excited because they're inspired by India Love. I could put her little picture, the actual picture up here. Um, but I have the exact same sweatsuit and similar slippers. So I'm about to go, I'm literally about to go to this hotel. It's on the outside of where I stay at, like the town I stay at. And this thing is so corny. No matter. God damn, this nigga is corny. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm about to go and get this photo. I'm hoping I can get it pretty quickly. It's a hotel that literally nobody be staying at. Like, they'll have like three cars in the parking lot, so I'll purposely go over there and take pictures because I ain't trying to get bothered. I went to this other hotel that's kind of more downtown area in my city, and it's, it's still early, so I didn't see nobody. But it was just, the photos just don't be cute. I don't know what it is. Like sometimes in hotels, I will snap, but other times it's, it's either good or bad. Like it's always either good or bad. Probably won't film any behind the scenes while I'm there. I might do that one of these days. Um, actually, I might as well do it for a little bit, but you really can't see. I need like three cameras to do that, or maybe I'll film on my phone. But I use my phone and my camera to take pictures. Like, I'll have my phone synced to my camera, so my phone is basically remote as well as a viewfinder. And so, I'll have two tripods. I'll have my camera on one tripod, my phone on one tripod. And so, I see myself off my phone with the camera is taking the photo. And so, I'll basically look at the I'll kind of play around and get the lighting where I want it, and then I'll kind of stand in the spot where I'm taking the photo and move around and look at my, my phone and see like what poses that look cute, what looks flattering, whatever, whatever. And I'll start taking a bunch of pictures. And then I'll probably take like 30, 20 to 30 at a time. And then I'll go back and look at them. And I'll do that a few times. And then that's typically all I do. Yeah, I'm trying to get quicker with the photos because I'll be out there. I'll be out there taking photos for a minute. But that, that typically is what helps me get the photo. I'll move around, I'll change the settings. And a lot of times I'll end up taking the photo in a spot I never was planning to take the photo, but it'll end up looking really, really cute. Like if you go to my page, you guys, honestly, I would say, well, one out of every 20 photos is not taken by me. 
like I take all my pictures myself. I just know my angles better. I recommend you guys do the same thing too. The main thing for me is I can't stand when you ask someone to take their photos and they act irritated. Like, I cannot stand that. I used to have friends that would do that and it would drive me. Like, that is the biggest red flag for me. If you act annoyed when I'm taking my photos or refuse me, I remember when I was in LA for Halloween and the girl said no. I was just like, that shit is such a red flag. Like, it's never a problem. But if someone asks me to take a photo, like, I get excited. I'm, I'm trying to get your angles. I want to, I'm going to take a few. I'm going to let you see them, make sure we're doing you justice and we're going to keep, we're going to get that picture. But when it's not the same energy, like, that is like my biggest red flag. Like that is the biggest giveaway of a hater, of an undercover, undercover hater. So tea time with Gabby, I'm telling you, that's how you know. Also, I made some money on Forex this morning. <laughs> Shout out Ruby. Oh, I went down a little bit. Maybe I should get out now. I still made some money though, I was lit. While you sleep, I love that. I woke up, I looked at the blue screens were open. I was like, what? You know, and then my stocks, y'all, I made like, $300 on stocks the other day, just fucking around, playing around, sorry. I'm a, I ain't gonna make that video talking about this because I'm definitely not no, <laughs> I'm not no expert, but this shit's legit, y'all. Get into it if you don't, get out, get in if you ain't already in. Make sure you know what you're doing, don't just start putting money places because it's a lot easier to lose money than it is to make money. And the thing is, what sucks is if you make good money off that, you would have made a shitload of money if you put like a hundred in or a thousand in, you know what I'm saying? So, death look into that y'all but I'm about to head and go take this picture and I'll see y'all when I'm there.